Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Yesterday, we crafted our Terminator. If you guys haven't seen that yet, please go check it out. Also, some apologies for some mic issues. I don't know how that happened, and I know this too late. Unfortunately, I couldn't go back and change it. But in today's video, we're going to be doing our best to absolutely max out this uh terminator i'm actually so pumped for this we're gonna be getting this thing ready for kudra for master mode all the fun stuff and it should be a good one we're gonna be spending a lot of coins on some certain things in today's video so please do me a favor leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and you guys are excited for the terminator gaming content coming your way i'm so pumped without further ado though let's get right into it super quickly though if you do find yourself checking out in the hypixel store don't forget to go and use code zach that is z-a-c-h that's my career code it will actually save yourself five percent on checkout when you use my code and it's a great way to support myself in the channel so i do greatly appreciate each and every one of you who does use code zach on a regular basis you guys are amazing and without further ado let's max out this terminator super quickly to start today off i know today we're focusing on the terminator and i've been going to dark auctions as much as i can this morning but something i need to do is actually talk to this npc right here i haven't really done anything with him before but i actually have enough materials to finally upgrade my magma cube minion to tier 12 which is actually really exciting so one two three four five six seven eight i need 16 stacks of enchanted magma cream as you can see and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our magma cube minion to tier 12. it costs the tier 11 minion which we have as well as 2 million coins and 16 stacks of enchanted magma cream let's go ahead and do this should give us 24 skyblock xp uh, which it will beautiful there we go that is awesome to see and we're actually getting really close to that next level like ridiculously close actually which is super nice but yeah there we go another maxed out minion complete i'm gonna go ahead and place this guy back down and get back on the term upgrade grind i guess you could say that's kind of what we're doing upgrading our term today is the the name of the game getting this thing ready for master mode but Thought I would go ahead and include this clip of us uh, maxing out another minion because it's it's always exciting when that happens in my opinion. Let's go ahead and put our upgrades back in. Beautiful. We'll let that guy get back to work, but always nice to see. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Vicious 5. Uh, it's worth 63 mil. Yikes, yikes. I need it though. I need it for my term. I need it, right? I mean, oh, it's so pricey. Why? Why is this thing worth 63 mil? For 5 ferocity. Guys, look at this. Double bid there before I could. Going for 63. I'll bid 60. Please. That's a stack of millions. Let me have. Uh, please. I beg. <laughs> I forgot to nick. No. Why? Why do I do this to myself? 65 mil. No. Little rat child. Little rat boy. You little rat boy. Uh, I need it for my video, please. Please. Oh, thank the heavens. Oh, my lord. We got it. We got it. Okay, we got Vicious 5. What we pay? 67.8 mil? Totally worth it, right? Yeah, that's that's definitely worth I have this travel scroll, though. 99% sure, so don't need that. Uh, where did it say? Warps do serious as Shack? Not really a Shack anymore since the, the hub island changes, but... We got Vicious 5. My goodness. Iron Man worth it? Yeah. For the term, may as well let him know. For the term, we had to do it. It had to be done. It's done now. Um, no going back. Yikes, this thing was expensive though. Well, naturally, we should go ahead and apply it. I mean, that's what I'm doing with this thing. Vicious Five um, just spent a small fortune on this thing, which is always tragic. 68 mil I paid or something like that. I already forget. But Vicious Five, that thing looks so clean. 91 levels to combine it. Let's go ahead and do it. Boom. There we go. We have Vicious Five on the Terminator. Oh my goodness, slowly but surely this thing's starting to get maxed out. Something we desperately need to do for this Terminator is actually star it. And to do so, I need like 2100 or like a little over 2000 Dragon Essence. Currently sitting at 1500 and I've grinded for a couple of summoning eyes today, done a few dragons, leached a few. But turns out this is probably going to be my best method. I haven't really committed to trying this yet, but I decided to fill up my inventory relatively quickly with a bunch of Ender Armor pieces and necklaces and a rare enderman pet which is kind of cool i guess but basically the plan is these do actually salvage for some essence i can sacrifice them for three essence i believe per ender armor piece which isn't amazing uh gonna be completely honest it's not a ton uh yeah three for the helmet it was three for that chest plate i'm assuming it's three for the boots as well i even threw on my endermite pet just in case we can get some extra loot i guess from it but 
Reaper piece, it does add up. These drop ridiculously quick. I mean, I filled up my inventory in probably five minutes, I want to say. And I think this is going to be the method for us to try and get all the essence required. I'm going to have to fill up my inventory quite a few times if it is only three essence per piece. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and salvage all these. We need to get to a little over 2,000 essence though. And looks like they're going to do a dragon. So I'll try and leech that as well. So a place we can get, maybe we can get some frags, craft another piece, yada, yada, yada. So... I'm going to keep on working at this. We need a lot of dragon essence, so uh, let's get to it. So I just leased that dragon that was spawned, and it ended up being young, which is one of the ones I have the most frags of. So we can actually go ahead and craft ourselves a pair of young boots, and then sacrifice that for essence. That is much better essence than the end armor stuff. It's whether or not I can find a dragon lobby. Uh, 20 essence for the boots, though. I have my end of my pet out as well. So maybe we can get something extra. We did not. But 20 Dragon Essence, I will happily take that. Basically for free, that's just for eggs I've gotten extra. So no complaints really, but we still need a lot more Dragon Essence. I was just able to leech this dragon. I actually got a strong Dragon Helmet. Don't mind if I do. I was in the middle of salvaging another inventory full of all these Ender Necklaces and Ender Gear. And yeah, ended up just dropping a strong Dragon Helmet, which is always super nice. Let's go ahead and equip that though. We have it in our inventory. Let's go ahead and salvage it. Plus 25 essence. And uh, yeah, looks like we just got essence on that one. I do need to put a necklace aside because for some reason I had my ender armor in the museum, but now it wants all the equipment pieces as well. I took it out because I got an auto recommed uh, ender helmet, which is kind of strange. Not a drop you see on a regular basis. And honestly, I can't remember where I put it. It's, it's somewhere in one of these, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and salvage all these. We're slowly but surely getting there. We're at like 1.8k Dragon Essence. So a couple hundred more to go, a couple more inventories full, and then we'll finally have enough. So I should finally have enough end pieces to get enough Essence. I need 2,150, currently sitting at 2,125. Now 28, and slowly but surely going up. I just need to go ahead and salvage these, and then we can run over to the Dungeon Hub and finally start this thing because not having it started honestly looks like a crime. So let me salvage these quick and then we can start the Terminator. So after salvaging everything and I actually just leached a protector dragon helmet from a dragon that was just placed, I now have 2,201 or 2,210 essence. So we're gonna head over to the dungeon hub and we're finally able to dungeonize slash upgrade this thing. So first off, we need to convert it to a dungeon item, which is gonna cost us 300 dragon essence, but this is gonna make this thing ridiculously insane in dungeons otherwise it basically does nothing i also went ahead and changed the reforge to precise saw a lot of comments as well as just precise apparently is going to be better for me in dungeons compared to where hasty might be more beneficial for kudra so we might be swapping back and forth um let me know your guys thoughts in the comments down below but had some really high end people tell me precise is the move so yeah let's go ahead and dungeonize it though that was 300 and now we can go ahead and star it so it's already dungeonized which is amazing let's go ahead and put on the first star though for 100 dragon essence each star is going to increase the stats on it by an extra two percent which is really nice so 200 essence two starred 300 to make it three starred and we're going to go ahead and slap on 500 essence to make it four starred and last but not least 750 dragon essence to have it five starred or basically maxed for the essence part obviously we're going to want to go ahead and put some master stars on it. But there we go. Precise Terminator 5 star. This thing is actually going to be a beast in dungeons. So I've been farming potatoes for the last little bit because we actually need hot potato books for this Terminator, obviously. I also have fuming set aside, but after farming potatoes for a little while, I do have 10 enchanted baked ones. So we're going to head to the hub. I need to go ahead and buy a little bit of shuriken. I'm sure I have some in my sack, but it's always just easier to do it this way. Go ahead and buy 32. Craft some paper really fast, just like so. 30 on the dot. Okay, I think that's exactly how much paper I need. And that should give me 10 hot potato books. Beautiful. Please tell me the hex is re-enabled. It makes adding hot potato books on so much easier. It is beautiful. So let's go ahead and add on all 10 hot potato books. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, bugged a little bit, but we got there in the end. 10 hot potato books on. That's an extra 20 damage and 20 strength, which is always amazing. And then uh, for some reason, I only put two fumings into my inventory. Let's go ahead and grab out three more, just like so. Go back into the hex and we can apply the five fuming hot potato books. These will give us extra stats as well. Another two strength and two damage per. Let's go ahead and use these. These are a little bit pricier than the hot potato books though, that's for sure. There we go, beautiful. We now have an extra 30 damage and 30 strength on our Terminator, which is super, super nice. 
Now it is time to actually go ahead and get our hands on a recon because this thing should not be left on legendary. So the fastest way for me to get a recon is to actually change my RNG meter on floor 7 to a recombobulator. The thing is, it'll eat up 20,000 dungeon score that I've saved up towards getting a guaranteed drop. The other part is though, I already have a fully maxed out Hyperion and I don't need the scrolls, the Necrons handle, a chest plate, an auto recon, a one for all, or anything that's above a recombobulator. So, Spending 20,000 score on this, honestly, I don't think is a terrible idea and honestly a really nice feature for most Iron Man players. So let me go ahead and get my um, kind of hot bar set up for dungeons so we can actually go in there and we're going to test out the term in the process, but we need to get our hands on our recon fast. There we go. The floor seven run is complete. Honestly, first run with Terminator was a little bit sad. I have like no speed right now. I have it all set to like crit chance and we're going to have to work on balancing that out a lot more, but... Okay, nothing. I'm actually going to go ahead and reroll the bedrock chest. I bought, I brought a Kismet just for this occasion. And there's my guaranteed recon with an ultimate wise, which is always nice and free and extra. But there we go. 5 million coins for that. Um, and we'll finally be able to recom our Terminator, which is actually going to help with damage a ton. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Okay, we have our Terminator and we have a recom. Uh, basic reforging, is that where I can do this? I, I honestly, nope, it's definitely not. Okay, uh, reforge anvil, I believe that's where I can do this. Yes, there we go. We're going to have a mythic precise Terminator that is five starred with fumings. The only thing we're really missing that I definitely wanted to have completed was overload. I only have an overload three book on this thing. Really wanted to get that to five. So we're going to have to do that relatively soon. But let's go ahead and recom it. There we go. Mythic Terminator. This thing is so clean. It's actually going to be so nice for dungeons. I definitely need to sort out my speed though. Um, so that's something I need to pay attention to. Also, I wasn't really rocking the right equipment. Not really sure what equipment I should be wearing for dungeons. We'll have to look into that as well. But Really excited to get in the master mode with this thing. It's going to be so much fun. So that is going to do it for today's episode of the Iron Man profile. The only thing uh, I think I could have done before, like, for example, I can't get power seven right now because Scorpius isn't in office. Um, we could have done overload books, but part of me wants to save this for when we get to M5. Or maybe I'll have to do this before. I'm not really sure yet. Either way, I'm really happy with what we were able to do to the Terminator today. This thing's like super kitted out and the damage increases alone from everything we added is massive from recomming it to getting all the dragon essence to start it, the fumings, the hot potato books, vicious five, that, that thing was pricey, not gonna lie, but happy we've gotten it all together and this thing is looking pretty kitted out, not gonna lie, really happy with it, um, hopefully you guys are excited for Terminator content coming really soon. The grind coming up is getting ready for master mode. We're going to be going pretty crazy on this. I need to get some coins. I need to work on leveling my golden dragon. I need to get perfect jaspers for my Necron armor set. We have a lot of master mode preparations we're going to be doing in the upcoming days. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. And Mayor Paul's around the corner, so we'll be testing it throughout that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Don't forget to use code Zach on the Hypixel store when checking out to save 5%. Don't forget to join my Discord, link in the description. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.